everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Happy New Year! Today is January 1st. Uh, Happy New Year everyone. I hope you have good goals and that you will accomplish every single one of your goals for 2022. Um, I have a few. I'll discuss that later <laughs> in another video, but Happy New Year! Um, yes, I just showered and you won't believe it, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon. You remember how I told you about my friend who took a whole year to do his dining room? Uh, because he could only do it after work on the weekend and, you know, he had like two, three jobs at the time. Um, the day started. <laughs> All right, I need to get a uh, COVID test before I go back to work. That's the policy, okay? You're coming back from two weeks vacation, we need a test, okay? Man, I was in line for four and a half hours this morning to get a PCR test. Four and a half hours. Uh, by the time I got home, I had breakfast and then I decided to clean the fridge out of nowhere, really. I just decided to clean the fridge. Uh, so I took an hour and now it's one o'clock. But I'm not editing today. This video you're going to see on Monday. So I can work up until, you know, midnight if I want. Um, so this is episode three of my DIY closet. Thank you all for the abundance of comments and suggestions and kudos and, uh, um, you know, good vibes. You've been sending my way uh, since episode one. Um, it really means a lot to me. And what means more is you being motivated, ladies being motivated to do something or build something or fix something or paint something. There's a lot of you who told me you watched a video and then something clicked and you decided, you know what, I've been looking at this hole in the wall for 17 years, I'm going to patch it. Okay, so kudos to you. That's all I want, all right? These videos are meant to motivate and show you that you can do it. You don't have to be a professional. Is it going to be a professional job? Absolutely not. Is it going to be a good enough working closet? Absolutely. And that's really all I want, okay? I'm not planning on selling my house. I said it again, I'm going to die here, <laughs> you know? So I don't care. Uh, the next owner can rip it if he wants to, um, or they can build upon it if they want to, or they can tear down the whole house. Well, I hope not, but you know, it's, I don't care at that point, but for me, I need a closet for various reasons. We'll talk about that, <laughs> but I need a closet. So, um, what am I doing today? In the last video, I did this wall here, which is the side wall. Today, I'm going to start to frame the front with the door opening. It's going to be a little bit tricky because as you know, my closet is on an eve. So that means that I have to do some 45 degree. Hopefully it's 45 degree. If it's the code, <laughs> uh, 45 degree angles, you know, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I want to make it strong enough that it would withstand uh, DIY doors and DIY doors are not going to be um, hollow core. They're going to be solid pieces of wood. So it's going to be much heavier than the doors. I thought about going to Habitat to restore. You guys pointed that out too, uh, to get doors that I could cut, but the likelihood of me finding solid core wood doors that I can cut to size is about this big. <laughs> More than likely, I'm going to find hollow core doors and I don't know how to cut those to sides. Um, and I could cut them, but I don't know how to patch the bottom part. And then if they have like a paneling or anything, uh, the paneling is gonna get like all messed up, you know, like if there's a design. And so I don't wanna mess with that. Um, but I was thinking, why not just do doors that open this way? Uh, because they're not going to be that big. Like French doors, not glass. It would be great uh, to have doors that are glass, um, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. But I'm going to do uh, French doors that are full panel with a design on it that's a mirror of the Art Deco design that we want in this room. 
Uh, so it's just a matter of, you know, cutting the design and gluing it on it and then, you know, caulking and painting and all of that with some nice uh, handle. It would look really good and I would need the hinges on the side instead of in the middle to do a uh, uh, bifold. Uh, but anyway, the doors are nowhere near ready to being even put together because I have to do the opening. So I talked enough. Without further ado, <laughs> we're going to get into uh, the heart of it and what I plan on doing today. Hopefully I have enough wood. Uh, if I don't, I'll stop there and then I'll have to go back tomorrow to uh, Home Depot and get more wood. But I think I got enough because I took seven of those tall ones. Uh, one. I only use two, so I have five left. Okay, so what I want is the maximum size door. Why? Uh, because I want to be able to get in the closet. I don't want a teeny bitty door. So we're going to go as high as we can here. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is cut a piece of wood. Let's see, is this a good height? I think this is a good height. Um, could be a little bit lower, but I kind of want it tall. Okay, so what I need is a 2x4 attached to this. That's going to be the support for the 2x4s I'm going to put on top of it. And those, instead of being flat, they're going to go this way, side by side. They're going to be sistered, okay, because I need a strong support um, for the closet. So I need to cut the one that goes here. I need to cut the two that go here. But they're not going to go straight onto that, okay? What I need to do is have a piece like this, a nailer, and then I need another piece like this, another nailer, and then we're going to do the stuff at the bottom, okay? Uh, so the one piece that's going to go uh, this way is going to get cut at a 45 degree angle to match, not to go here, but to go over here where the nailer is going to be. So it's going to be a little bit shorter, okay? And then the two pieces that go this way, same thing. They're going to have to be cut at a 45 degree angle and they get zoop, zoop, to a nail. All right, so first things first, I'm going to cut the piece that goes on here and I need to measure what size I need. Usually closet openings are 80. When you buy, I'm right here. When you buy the doors, they're already made. They are 80. Which is way too high. 80 is over here. I, that's crazy high. I don't want that. Uh, so we're going to do 74. Missing. Yeah, that's enough. We're going to do 74. So I need one piece that's 74 that I'm going to screw into this post here. And that's going to be um, the main support for my door frame. And it's got a name. Hold on. Because this is the one thing I like the most about doing those projects is learning. Uh, so this here, whether it's a 2x4 sistered, meaning two together, or four by four, is called a king stud. You would think that the one that goes here would be called a queen stud. Nope, it's called a jack stud. So I'm going to cut a jack stud at 74 inches. I'll be right back. By the way, I hope you don't mind if I'm not filming myself cutting wood. You've seen me do that a gazillion times. It's raining outside, we're on the third floor, that means I have to lock the camera down with the tripod, cut the wood, and then bring the wood, bring the camera and the tripod. Come on. <laughs> I need to, uh, to do my, uh, my closet here, okay? And it's good exercise, but anyway, this is the jack stud. I'm 
off by a little bit. Not by much, only a little bit. Here, yeah, perfect. Hmm. Is that really going to matter? I mean, it's like very tiny. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, oh, you know what? Let me turn it. Because maybe it's the wood that's warm. Okay, it's better. Still off a little bit, but not by much. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, oh, and by the way, one of you mentioned that I should put more screws in the uh, top plate um, and more screws at the bottom. I will. Once everything is done, I'll secure everything. Okay, so for this, I'm doing the self tapping uh, the big screws that I have. And remember, this whole part here is going to get sheet rocked. Okay, so. Don't worry about the gap right here. All right, let's start with one in the middle. The jack plate is installed and what I'm going to do now is do the nail over here but that's the one that has a 45 degree angle so I need to measure exactly from here to the floor okay and again leave a half an inch right here because sheet rock okay or drywall whatever you want to call it okay so from here to here hopefully it fits do I have a uh, let me see is this the same width? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to have to rip it. Okay. Um, ripping is going along the whole length and taking out a certain amount. I don't have a saw table or table saw uh, to do that. So, mm. thankfully, it fits. And this is great, by the way, because this is a uh, king stud. We learned that today. So from the floor all the way up to here is the height that I need, but I'm going to add three inches. I'm approximating three inches and then from here into the three inches, I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle. Does that make sense? I don't need three inches. I don't think I do. How thick is this? Watch me do math. This is two. Three is going to be too much. I'm trying to be economical on my wood too, you know. Uh, so, whatever length I need here. This is a handicap to wear glasses. Can I just say that? Uh, this is... 67. Uh, it's a little bit short of 67. We're going to do 67 and a little bit less. Now, you know what? Let's do 67. Okay, so I'm going to do 67 plus 2 inches, 69. And then at the 67, a little bit less, we're going to do 1 8 less. Mark, I'm going to cut at a 45 degree angle. Um, I have a feeling this is the kind of stuff you want to see. All right, I'll bring the camera downstairs. Uh -uh. Okay, so here goes. I'm gonna use the uh, meter box. I need this. At 67, and then I set a little bit under, right? Uh, we're gonna go here. So here is the beginning and it's supposed to go. Wait. No. <laughs> it's supposed to go the other way. So a 
little bit under 67 is here and it's supposed to go this way. Okay. <music> I'm scraping a little bit here it's inside we don't care but I just realized something this wall is totally not straight totally not straight let me see this way not straight so what do I do do I compensate uh, because I gotta have a half an inch throughout which I pretty much have now but as a result, this is somewhat straight. It's a little bit better. But yeah, it's not because I'm following the wall. And on the door here, you can see it's totally not straight. I never realized that. Let me take that off. No, this is straight. Oh, this is weird. Well, you kind of can't, this is straight. You can tell because look, there's a serious difference in height here. Just for giggle, old houses. Two and, no, two and three quarter. Three and a half. My closet being straight is more important. So, I got to place this, and it's telling me that the door is straight. Wow, that's a serious gap. Look at this ridiculousness here. I have the board uh, straight flush to the frame of the door. And the door I just pointed at is straight, okay, it's plumb. But look at the difference once we get to the bottom. Wow. So one would think that I would have done those measurements. Don't go anywhere. Before I started this project, right? <laughs> well, we're talking about me here. You know I didn't. So what do I do? Do I, um, I, I got to go with... It's got to be straight with this. So I got to go with my original measurements. Which is a half an inch here. And I got to move it so that it is straight. But that means my sheetrock will be great at the bottom. And I'm going to have to seriously sand over here. That's doable. Huh. It would have to be off the uh, wall. How do I manage that? Oh, I gotta use my brain here, guys. In order for it to be straight, which is what I need for the doors, it would have to be off the wall here. By not much. So, how do I remedy this problem? So my issue is that I need this to be straight, no matter what. It's got to be plumb because it's got to match the door, okay? Um, but if I do that, then it's, it's plumb at the bottom, it's perfect. But as I go up this wall, you can see that there's a gap here because the wall is not straight. So if I sheetrock this whole area, what's going to happen is that I'm going to have the sheet rock here and then I'll have an indentation here. I could put a quarter round or a trim with shims and I would cover it, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I don't have any choice. I need this to be straight because it's going to be supporting the door. All right, let's screw it in. Plum.
So what I'm doing here is that I'm measuring at the bottom. Twenty-six and a half. Twenty-six and a half. Okay. So these are perfectly aligned. And that's important because when I'm going to put the uh, header on top for the door, I don't want to walk in and have a closet that looks slightly off. Okay. Now where's my... Um... We're good here. And we're straight. We're straight. Perfect. Let me screw it in. So I don't really trust my screws. I don't think they're long enough. So I got some really big nails. And we're just gonna hammer that in. Remember, I'm straining to the uh, king post in the back. It's not going anywhere. All right, next. So what I did was I knew I needed a 67, right, here. What's a 67? 67 inches. Okay. Okay. So I put that in the miter box to do a, a, a 45 degree angle. Okay. Okay. You're sure it's a 45? Yeah, yeah, it's 45. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a tiny gap here because I don't have any arm strength. So I'm trying to cut the swing. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'm like, ah, oh, oh, oh. all right. Plus the saw sucks, let's be honest. So I tried to do it with a circular saw, but the circular saw didn't go through the whole uh, board. So I had to flip it how, the other way. How, how did you, hold on, how did you, how did you use a circular saw? Did you put it on this side or on this side? On the short side. It. No, but wait, how are you going to do it from that side? Well, you can't. Okay. Because then you would have to have the sword at an angle. Yeah. You have to do it from the, the short side. Okay, so I'm doing it from the short side, and because it's the circumference of the blade. Right, I know, but it doesn't go all the way that, across. Right, so then I have to flip it. But do it does to, go all the way across. Yeah, but you can't you can't do it from this side, Scott. If you do it from I, this I side, you, you would have it. to, to yeah, yeah, flip I know, it. Okay. I know, I know. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Small victories. Uh, so. All right. So the, so the miter box would be the way to go, right? Right. Or or see if you can do it with the um, what you call it, the one that goes up and down. Oh, the jigsaw. The jigsaw. Maybe it will work with the jigsaw. How does that go again? Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, so I need I need a board that's... What does it say? I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, it doesn't have to go because I'm not I'm not putting one over here. Okay. I, I don't think I will, so that's fine. Well, you might as well put it all the way up there, right? Yeah, but I'm putting it all the way up there. But okay, so. Uh, 35. So the inside of, of the thing is the 35. The inside of the uh, angle is 35. Is 35. Inches, which means that it flares outward from 35 inches. To probably 37. Okay. okay. There's a On ruler. a 45. Yeah. All right. And there's a tape measure down there? Yep. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. Yay. You did good. <clears throat> How'd you do it? You went online and you found out nope, how to do it. No, I did it. not go online. What did you do? You took pictures of yourself doing it? You filmed yourself? Just about ready to mess everything up. <laughs> or I'm about ready to rock Sophia's world. <laughs> oh, we gotta see that. Hold up. I'm gonna give you the clip. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm either just about ready to mess everything up or I'm about ready to rock Sophia's world because there's something I don't think she knows about. So Sophia's been saying that she's having trouble 
cutting these 45 degree <gasps> angles. You can angle it? But there's something that I know about or noticed, which is this guy, this guy right here. If you just turn that and loosen it up, right? And this thing is unplugged, right? What you can do, and I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hold on. You can tilt it? Down. I have three more. Right, and then you just tighten it up. And if you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it has numbers indicated on it. Oh there. my god. 35, 30, 15, 0. So, doing that. You're the best. I should be able to get a 45 degree angle on this cut. You're the best. Without having to break my back. Should it? All right, well, I wasn't perfect with it, but it's beautiful. It seemed to have worked better than uh, killing myself over it. <laughs> You've taught me something, babe. This is great. I think that's my last one. Excellent. Uh, one thing that you might want to do, one thing that you might want to do, though, is uh, you know, kind of replace this back to its uh, original, original position. setting. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so. But anyway, the reason you want to do that is so that the next person using it doesn't mess anything up. I, I don't know what to say. I'm impressed. You're all frustrated, weren't you? Oh, you have no idea. Look at my hair. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. You're the best. No, okay. I, I, I had to cut it in a little bit. Look at you. Looks like you did not need a 45 degree angle, you needed something else. Alright, but you know what? Okay, so... Oh, you're gonna make that work? No, 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 no. We're gonna keep this one. Shorten this one a little bit. Hey, Willie. You, you, your dad just taught me something. Thank you. What? It's major. What is it? And he's feeling super good about it. What is it? I think he wants a third Emmy Award for his pr prestation. What is it? <laughs> Huh? What did he do? The saw, I could have angled it. Uh, it's got a mechanism to angle it. Oh, he's so proud. Hey, look at your face. You're so smug. I love it. The what? Huh? What? Didn't what? I earn that? You absolutely do. Okay. I am very thankful that you All found right. that out. Put that up on the... On okay, the... we'll do. All right, so Scott got it done. And here we go. This goes here. Like this. So today was not a good day for me uh, because I spent way too much time on trying to figure out those angle things and thank goodness Scott fixed it for me because I would have been pretty frustrated. So I installed this one, I installed uh, the matching one on the other side and then we installed this one <laughs> and I put in one of those uh, I keep on calling, calling them butterfly. I don't know if that's the name of it. But anyway, um, when you use the screws on it, and because it's at a 90 degree angle, but you want it wide open, it, it will flex. So I was able to flex it here. And this thing is not moving, which is good. Uh, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, I'm installing the two that go this way including the one that's going to be the same height. All right, so we'll have the beginning and then I'll do uh, the transverse. They have a name, I forgot, uh, but we almost there. I'm hoping you can imagine a closet, okay, because it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, okay, so one thing I need to learn to do is walk away when frustrated. <laughs> Boy, was I frustrated today. I knew the angles was going to be a problem because I have zero geometric skills. Uh, but Scott figured it out. Thank goodness. Um, but otherwise, you know, once you know how to use the, the uh, thing, I didn't know you could tilt it. I'm an idiot, but, you know, I've learned something today. I hope you did too. Uh, once you figure out how to use it, it's... 
pretty easy, right? Um, you just gotta cut at a right angle, but again, like the ceiling is so wonky, it's not really, I thought it was a 45, it's more like a 36. Um, but I'll get there, you know? I'll get it done. I'm just frustrated today because I thought I was going to be able to get the door frame. Maybe I'll get it tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. But if you think about it, I mean, I still got uh, the post. Oh, and then figuring out the whole wall over there that was that's not straight. That was a whole other uh, thing. So I spent a lot of time... Um, troubleshooting more than anything else today um, but that's all right some days are like that um, the one thing you want to make sure I'm just telling you this if you want to build your own which you know I don't know if I'm really teaching you anything but one thing I wanted to make sure of is uh, where I'm at here is for this board here to be aligned with this one so go like this and you know I marked it I don't know if you can see the little mark over there because the sheetrock is gonna go against that and you want to make sure the sheetrock's got something to grab on okay um, so that was not easy but I managed okay I'm done and it's funny because when you look at it from far away you can almost see the whole closet <laughs> right you can almost see it and I like what I'm seeing it's pretty much what I wanted the whole corner here to be a closet so ah worth the sweat and you can tell from my hair that very obviously I got really frustrated <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way uh, I did learn something good today um, I'm gonna leave you here I hope you were not as frustrated as I was um, some of you probably went a couple of times and that's okay. I will have a closet, all right? Um, if I have to take things out and start them over, I will do that. I don't think I do, but I'm just saying. I will have a closet. I'm determined. Um, motivated. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, I think the problem today is that I started way too late. It was already 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I had like a really rough morning. I discussed that with the testing and all of this stuff. So I was kind of like, ugh. You know, it's too late, but I still want to make some progress. So, tomorrow what I'm going to do is start much earlier. And tomorrow's my last day of vacation, and I'm going to go back to work. Um, I have to get the car back. So I don't know if I'm going to go and pick it up Sunday night, or if Scott's going to drive me there Monday morning. Got to figure that out. I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> I don't really want to spend an hour going to Jersey City on Sunday night to go get the car. But anyway. Um neither here nor there. Um, I'm still very happy with this. 74 I think is a good height. Uh, the width I will have to determine but again the doors are going to be solid panels so not only am I going to have to have some serious hinges but the weight of the doors I got to take that into account. Is this frame going to be able to support the weight of the doors? I'm hoping it will. I'm still on the fence by the way about whether or not I want bifold okay. I'm not intimidated with the whole idea of installing the tracks. That's not the issue. If I go like this, or if I go like this, they're both skinny panels. Um, I don't know. I, I gotta think about it. It might look good as a bifold. They're not hard to make. It's the same system. Instead of putting the hinges on the outside, you put them on the inside. That's it. Um, we'll see. Um, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. A uh, thumbs down, which you cannot see anyway, if you were frustrated. Uh, comment down below, let me know. I still have to add some extra screws in there. And tomorrow what I need to buy is more wood. And then the metal part, uh, the, there are like jo joist holders. So the two beams I'm going to have like this that are going to be on the top. I need to be able to brace them so that they, they really held in place. Um, and so there's like, a, a, they look like big staples, basically. They just go like this, like a horse saddle. I don't know what you call them. I think they call jo joist holders or ties, something like that. I gotta get two of those uh, and then more wood. Um, 
If you want to know the budget so far, it's a little bit under 250 for everything that you've seen. The screws, the wood, the little angle thing, the plates for the, uh, um, what you might call it, the plates for the big post. Uh, I'm under 250 so far, so I'll probably put another 50 in wood. So the closet is probably going to cost about 400 once I get the sheetrock. Um, yeah, the uh, shelves were included, so it's not too bad. How much would I pay a guy to do this, right? Probably a couple of thousands. Uh, but then I would have a closet already. <laughs> Funny. Okay, uh, i see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video, despite my frustration. And now I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to quilt for the rest of the day. That's what I'm going to do with a nice cup of tea. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!